So, <clears throat> the topic is conduction losses. Suppose this is your power electronic switch. This is a power electronic switch. Already we discussed some problems on the switching losses. During on, during off, how the switching losses we discussed. Now what happened here? The power electronic device is in conduction. It contributes some conduction losses. It contributes some conduction losses. The device offers the conduction losses. Sir, how to calculate the conduction losses? This is a very, very important uh, topic in your exam. I will use the conduction losses, power losses, conduction power losses. Power losses, P is equal to V average into I average. V average into I average. This is one formula. And we can use the formula P is equal to I RMS square into R on state resistance. On state resistance. I will use one more formula to calculate the power P is equal to V average into I average plus plus I RMS square into R on. These are the three things. There are three formulas depending upon the device what we are using and the circuit what they given. What is the analysis they given? We have to use these formulas. One formula is this one. Another formula is this one. One more formula is this one. One more formula is this one. So when we have to use this formula, when we have to use this formula, at what instant we have to use this formula? This is a very, very important. So, if you see, for example, the power P is equal to, as we know formula, power P is equal to integral of 0 to T, 0 to T, 1 by total time period, 1 by total time period, V into I. V into I. For example, if the voltage is a constant, if the voltage is a constant, I will take outside. V divided by T, integral 0 to T, I dt. So, how this look like equation? This equation is belongs to the average voltage equation, average current equation. It look like a I average. If the voltage is constant, we have to take V into I average. This formula I have to use. This formula I have to use. And one more I can see. One more we can we are going to observe. P is equal to 1 by T integral of V into I into dt. Of course, here also dt will be there. Don't forget that. No problem. But what I will write is. 1 by t integral of, instead of v, what we can write? ir we can write. So, this I can write as i square r into dt. Sir, how this look like, equation is look like, this, this equation is look like. If you take r is outside, if you take r is outside, how 0 to t i square dt, how this look like? RMS value of current equation square. So, if you want to calculate IRMS is equal to square root of integral 0 to t, whatever function you are given, dt, function square then here we don't have root, function square and this is same, root is not there, hence it becomes like a IRMS square. Then what I can write here? This is the formula which we can use for the second case. This is, is equal to IRMS square, IRMS square into R, this is used for this case. Sometimes some devices, most of the devices, have a combination of this average power and RMS power together we have to change. So power is not an RMS. Always the power is an average only. But we are using different formulas because 
Here voltage is a constant, voltage is a constant, we can use this formula. And here resistance is a constant, we have to use this formula. Sometimes voltage and current will be there. I think in the uh, analog electronics, if you studied, uh, I hope in the diode, there is a piecewise linear model is there. Diode in series with the resistance. So when we have to use this formula, when we have to use this formula, this formula we are using if you have a battery like this. Your equivalent is having battery. V is here, current I average is here. For, for formula to calculate the power is this one. So when we have to use this formula, we have to use this formula if the resistance is like this. If the resistance is like this, on state resistance, when the current is flowing, IRMS current is flowing like this. When we have to use this formula, the circuit is consisting of a battery as well as the on state resistance. This is V and this is I average, this is I square RMS. I RMS square into R1. Together we can add for this one. Hello my dear students. I am giving you one challenging question for you. What is my challenging question is? This model, this model, whatever this model, we can use for BJD. This model we can use for BJD. This model we can use for our MOSFET effect. MOSFET effect. This model we are using for diode, SCR, diode, SCR, uh, GTO, IGBT, IGBT, such a models we can take this one. So for these devices this model is taken to calculate of the conductor losses. For MOSFET device this is the model we are taking. For BJT, this is the model we are taking. You can send the comment. You can send the comment. What is the answer for this one? What, how I related to this one? This is a very important uh, point I given for you, question for you. It is a challenging question. If anybody is given correct answer, I will take your number. I will send a one gift for you related to your power electronics. A very good gift I will give you. I talk to you and tell you. Because this type of, you have to apply your mind. Why is taken BJT? Why MOSFET is this one? Why SCR and other devices taken like this? These are the challenging questions for you. Are you clear? So, the conduction, during the device conduction, there is a conduction losses. Conduction losses can be taken as V average into I average, IRMS square into IR, both combinations we can take. When these cases we have to take, that I given model for you. One question responsibility given for you, you try to work out on that one, come back to me, I'll give a very good uh, gift for you, okay, these things. Now we will do some sort of problems on this particular topic of conduction losses. See, a MOSFET, the problem is given here, this is the problem, problem on the conduction losses in switchings, power electronic switching devices. A MOSFET is rated 20 amperes, carries an on-state resistance of 0.12 ohm. On-state resistance of 0.12 ohm. The average on-state losses on the MOSFET is what? This is the available information for you. Current is 15 amperes. It is a waveform they give it like this. 0 to pi, current is 15 amperes. 2 pi, no current between pi to 2 pi. Again, it is symmetric. Now, how to calculate this one? What is the formula we have to use this calculation of power losses? What is the device given? First, you try to observe what is the device given. MOSFET is given. Even though your formula may be average on state losses, may, may be like that. We are calculating average power loss. But what is the formula used for this power losses? P is equal to I RMS square into R on. IRMS square into on state resistance. So, how to calculate the RMS value of current for this one? IRMS. IRMS is equal to whenever this is square wave type is obtained, you can take as the magnitude 15 
take as magnitude square root of uh, up to what angle it is having signal pi divided by total periodicity 0 to 2 pi again it is repeating again it is repeating total area we have to take like this this pi pi gets cancelled what you got 15 by 2 is your RMS root 2 is your RMS value of current. What is the power losses formula? We know power losses in this case P is equal to I square into R R that is 15 square divided by 2 into 0 0.12 ohms. 0 0.12 ohms. If you simplify this one, I hope you may obtain 13.5 watt. These are the losses available for this given problem. Only thing is factor I square R we have to use. RMS value of current we have to calculate this wave that is calculated substituted directly. Okay. So now see this is the current waveform is given as a 10 amperes of maximum. This is the waveform. And uh, it is starts from zero. The signal is available up to 20 micro amperes. But periodicity, the same signal will be continuing after 30 microsecond. This is also you have to observe. What is the question is, what is the average power losses in BZT when the its threshold or average voltage is given as 1.2 volts? What is the power losses if it is there given to the device of MOSFET? The on state resistance is this one. On state resistance is this one. So, what is the formula we have to use for this case? BZT. For the case of BZT, how to calculate your power? Formula I told you, man. What is the formula? VT, that is V average into I average. How to calculate the, for the MOSFET? How to calculate the, for the MOSFET? IRMS square into R1. These two different formulas we have to use depending upon the device. Depending upon the device. Now, so that from this given waveform, we have to calculate the average value of current, we have to calculate the RMS value of current. Remaining two parameters are available in the problem. So, how to calculate the average value for this one? How to calculate the average value for this one? If you see 0 to 5, 0 to 5, what is your area? 10 into 5, 10 into 5, divided by 2, half of the area is only available. Like this signal, how many is there? This portion, this portion, and this portion is same. This portion is same. Hence, of course, you can calculate for this one. What is that? Into what is the area covered actually? This year to year by 30 is there now. You are maintaining only this signal, your periodicity 5 divided by 30. 5 divided by 30. Is it clear, all of you? 5 divided by 30. You can multiply this waveform with 2. With 2. Is it clear all of you? Any changes are there? So, so you can only, I think we have to take only 1 5. You don't take this 5. Periodicity is 1 by 30. You can write like that. Because already you have taken this area. Why I used to multiply by 2? Because this one and this one are same. That's why I multiplied with 2. Plus, plus, what is the, from here to here, here to here, what is the average? 15 minus 5, 10 into 10, 10 into 10, into 1 by 30, 1 by 30, because your average cycle we have to take like that, is it or not? By 30, you are taken by 30 here, by 30 here. If you simplify this one, what is the average value of current we can get? As for uh, my analysis concerned, 5 amperes is there. 5 amperes is there. So, 5 1 jar, 5 6 jar. Okay, these two and these two gets cancelled. This is 10 by 6 plus so. 20 by 6, 10 by 6 plus 20 by 6, that is 30 by 6, that is my ambience, got it. Is it okay? Then how to calculate the RMS value of current? How to calculate the RMS value of current? I hope RMS square we can take directly, RMS square we can take directly. What is this one? It is a ramp signal, it is a ramp signal. 
How can you? What is the RMS value for a RAM signal? Vm by root 3, Im by root 3, we have to use. Square I am taking here, square I am taking here. So what I can write here is m square by 3. Because IRMS is, IRMS is Im by root 3, Im by root 3. What is your Im? 10 by root 3. But what I am writing here? IRMS square, that's why 10 by root 3. This way or this way are same, hence I can multiply with 2. I can multiply with 2. What about the other? Square is there here. Square is there. How can you write that square? 15 minus 10 whole square divided by what is that? Square root of 15 by 30. You can take as average of 30. You can take 30. Is it or not? You can take as 30 here. Of course, here also we have to take the by 30. We have to take by 30. You can take by 30. If you simplify this one, what we are going to get that one? Why 30 we are taking? I hope you know. Periodicity. 10 divided by 30. Here also 30 I return. Periodicity is up to 30 seconds. Periodicity is up to 30 seconds. If you simplify this one, what you are going to get the answer? This one becomes like, a, I think, 400 by 9. 400 by 9. IRMS square is 400 by 9. Then how to calculate the losses? V average into I average. What is the average value of voltage? They are given as, for this case, 1.2 into I average 5 amperes. I average is 5 amperes. If you simplify 1.2 into 5, how much you will get? 6 watt. 6 watt. And what is the other one? 400 by 9. IRMS square is 400 by 9 into 150 into 10 power of minus 3. 400 by 9 into this one. If you simplify the, your calculator, I hope you can get 6.67 watts. Sir, do you have any observation on this problem? Are you observed this is the losses for BJT? These are the losses for MOSFET? If you compare the same model, same current, uh, we have the BJT losses, we have MOSFET losses. But the MOSFET losses little bit higher, conduction losses are higher than the BJT. In the BJT, switching losses are more, conduction losses are less. In MOSFET, conduction losses are more, switching losses are less. That we will discuss in future subject. What is the comparison between power BJT, power MOSFET, SCR, IGBT, each and everything we can discuss. But up to now, this is the problem how to calculate the conduction losses in the case of BJT, in the case of MOSFET. So see one more problem. The device is modeled as 5 milli ohms resistance and uh, average voltage is 1.1 volt. Find the conduction losses for the given circuit waveform, current waveform is like this. Hello. So here what happened? Because of this on state resistance, we have to carry out the losses. Because of this average voltage, we have to carry out the losses. So what is the total power loss here? Total power losses is equal to V average into I average due to this plus IRMS square into R on due to this. Due to this, this one. Device is not given. If it is a MOSFET means we can take only I square RN. If it is a BJT means we can take only VL. If it is a diode means combination we have to take. If it is a SCR we have to take the combination. Now, what is the thing here? How to? So, V average and I RR is given from this waveform. It is a half wave. Half sine wave. In a half sine wave, what is the average value? I don't want to derive. It is a standard thing. I m by pi. I m by pi. So, I m by pi means 100 by pi. How much it is? Then, what is the RMS value for a half wave? If it is a full wave, I am by root 2, half wave means I am by 2. I am by 2. That is 100 by 2. 100 by 2. Then, how to calculate the voltage? Average voltage is how much is given? 1.1 into average current is 100 by pi. Plus, what is the RMS square? 100 by root 2 whole square 
into what is the resistance given? 5 into 10 power of minus 3. Then what it becomes like? I hope it comes as a uh, as per my expertise is concerned, it may be having some 55 watts. 55 watts. It may be 20 watts, it may be 35 watts. Together it comes as a 55 watts. This one is 35 watts. This one is 20 watts. Of course, these are all very simplification. Even any numerical error is there, you take correction. No problem, I don't think you have error. But this is the procedure what we are going for given model of the problem. So this is the question, a composite switch, composite means combination of four, more than one, used in a power converter as shown in the figure, this is the figure, this is one MOSFET, this is one diode, this is one diode and the periodic current through the switch is shown, current shown. What we want to calculate for this one? We want to calculate the conduction losses. Switch is shown. What are the conduction losses? What are the conduction losses? So, how to calculate conduction losses for this one? You can write this is a MOSFET IRMS square into R on on resistance is given. How to get the losses for this one? Here no resistance is given, you can take only voltage, that's it, it is modeled as like that. Now, V average into I average we have to take. So, this parameter is available, this parameter is available, we want to calculate this parameter and this parameter. So, how to calculate the RMS value of current and average? First, we want to go for average value of current. Average value of current. This is a 12 ampere is the maximum. 12, only half of the portion is available, by 2 you can take and uh, how long it is conducting from 0 to 5, pi divided by, what is the periodicity of this one, 20, 0 to 20, so you can take the area as 40 like this, plus what about this one, it is 12 only, it is 12 only, here to here it is 12 and uh, what is the area of this one? You need not take divided by 2 because it is half, it is 12 into. What is the conduction period of this one? 10 minus 5 is 5. Divided by total periodicity of this one, 20. All together, if you calculate, I think you can get 4.5 amperes. 4.5 amperes. Very simple mathematics. You need not worry about that one. I think you can. Get very simply 1, 4, this is 3 and this becomes 1, 1.5. This is 2, this is 6. 30 divided by 20, 1.5 plus 3, that becomes like a 4.5 amperes. Is it clear? Then how to calculate the RMS value for this one? RMS value, square we can calculate directly. What is the magnitude of this one? 12. 12 square divided by 3. How we return? For sawtooth wave, sawtooth wave, RMS value of current is Vm by root 3. I am taking IRMS square, that's why this one into what is the period of conduction? 5 is the conduction, total periodicity is 20, that is 5 divided by 20. Plus, what about this one? What about this one? This is 12 square, this is 12 square into period of conduction 10 minus 5. 5 divided by 20, 5 divided by 20. If you simplify this one, I hope as per my expectation is concerned, we can get RMS value square as a 48 amperes. 40, IRMS square at least, not RMS value of current, IRMS square as a 48 amperes square, not square, amperes, it is a amperes square. So then what is the RMS value? You don't require RMS value because we require IRMS square only that. Then what are the losses during this device? What you can write here? IRMS square 48 into 0 0.1 plus V average is 0.8 into what is the current you calculated? 4.5. 4.5. You simplify this one, I think 8.4 watts we can get. 8.4 watts. 
this is what so different type of models every model we have to attack so then if you are going for examination whatever the new model is given i think you are ready to solve the problem just don't buy hat how i told all these things you try to understand i give an analysis for you so it is modeled as different mosfet and diode composites which modeled these two cases losses is calculated 